What is up, YouTube, and welcome to the month of October of 2015. It's October 1st already, at least here in the, in the, north, the Northeast. Uh, basically, this is my new DVD update. It's not a lot of DVDs. It's just a couple of stuff that I bought in the last couple weeks uh, in September, and I'm going to show them to you right now. Uh, first is the movie I just got finished watching and through watching, and I really liked it. It was a decent movie for what it was, and that is Spiders. This was originally called Spiders 3D, but I do like this film. Uh, I think the you know the CGI doesn't look that horrible. Um, it, the film looks like it has a budget behind it because it's done by Millennium Films, the same people that produced the Expendables films. At least the first two. The third one was shit. I don't hate the cast that much. I mean, uh, it has uh, um, Patrick Muldoon. He's there. I don't really care for him that much, but you know he's there. He's not the worst actor ever. Krista Campbell, I don't mind her, William Hope, and introducing Sydney Sweeney. I think she was the uh, little girl in the film. She was fine. Uh, she didn't annoy me. You know, the film is really short, too. It's like 89 minutes, so it goes at a fast pace. The spiders are in the film. They're the stars of the film. They're, they're not overshadowed by, you know, like hours of people talking. They show up a lot. First, they're small, and they grow medium size, And by the end, you have this huge spider, which is in the film at the end. And it looks pretty cool. And it is what it is. It's a creature feature. And for my first movie for the month of October, you know, leading up all the way to Halloween, I could have done a lot worse. Decent film was worth the five bucks. Next, this is a drama with one of my favorite actresses of all time. I don't get the hate that some people have given this actress. Screw the haters. You know, I'm sick of the haters here on YouTube that think that she can't act. Yeah. See her in Lost in Translation and tell me, that she can't act. And this is the uh, bare bones copy, basically, of uh, the girl with the pearl earring. Yeah, I'm even going to see movies with like this with her. Those gorgeous lips are the most desirable things in the world when it comes to, you know. Yeah, and this is a movie where they, like, painted her, her eyebrows white to resemble the, um, the painting of this girl. Uh, I think it's Johannes Ver Vernier. Yeah. And I bet this movie is going to be really well done. Uh, it's got an all-star cast. It's got Scarlett Johansson, who I adore. It's got Colin Firth from, you know, The Kingsman that came out this year. Tom Wilkinson and Cillian Murphy and a bunch of other people. Some of these people I've never heard of. But I'm willing to give this movie a chance. It's under two hours, so it's not a two and a half hour, you know, uh, you know pretentious film. And I got it for a dollar. It's 100 minutes from 2003. Scarlett Johansson, you know, much younger in her prime. And I just love looking at her. I will see her in anything. And this is another one I got from her. Next, I got this movie. Um, I got it brand new at a yard sale for a dollar. And uh, it was worth it. It was brand new. And I like the cast in it. And it's uh, The Session with Helen Hunt, who I still think looks hot even after all these years. You have... Um, John Hawks, oh, I've, I've heard of him, but I don't think I've seen him in much. William H. Macy and uh, Adam Arkin and Rhea, per Rhea Perlman and uh, Moon Bloodgood. There's, there's some really good cast members in this movie. It's a little bit, it's short. It's a Fox um, Searchlight Pictures, which is, you know, not 20th Century Fox, but they're uh, pseudo other, you know, um, company that really you know distributes their films uh it's r-rated so i don't have to worry about being censored and it won a, a sundance film award from 2012 and uh it's only 95 minutes see uh studios you don't need to make every movie a long epic in order to get my attention you can do it in 90 minutes and if you get my attention i'll give you the praise because, you know, sometimes movies are way too long and don't need to be two or three hours to get their point across. But, like, Boyhood, I think that movie is way too long. And I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard it's long. But Session, I'm going to give it a shot sometime. And last but not least, this is an underrated sequel I've heard many things about. A lot of people have said this is not that bad of a sequel. I have the first one. I thought it was a good remake to a film that I did like in the 50s. Uh, I saw it as a kid, so see, you know, seeing this sequel after seeing Return of the Fly uh, much later in my life, you know, and I really enjoyed that. I think it's the best of the original tr Fly trilogy. This is the sequel to the remake, The Fly 2, the special edition of it. This has the uh, 
Full-length audio commentary by the director Chris Wallace and film historian Bob Burns. An alternate ending and a deleted scene. One deleted scene. But hey, that's enough for me. That means I'll, I'll be able to rewatch the film after I watch it the first time for the Halloween season. 104 minutes. Pretty long, but it's not two hours. I'll give it a chance. And I guarantee you I'm probably going to enjoy this more than Jurassic World. Because I hated that. And it was long and boring. This should at least keep my interest. So that's my small DVD update. I hope you guys have... If you haven't watched any of these films, I would advise you probably look for them and watch them, stream them, rent them, do, you know, what you need to. Especially, I'm going to enjoy some of these horror films for Halloween because, you know, I saw Spiders already, but I still got The Fly 2 and Eight-Legged Freaks and Darkness Falls and a bunch of others. I can't wait, man. This is going to be an awesome October for me to watch, sink my teeth into these horror films that I've overlooked long enough. You know, it's time for a new age of horror films. Yeah, to go back and see the gems of the past, not the recent horror films that we've got lately. Very few that are good. A lot of them are crap, and I try to avoid the bad ones as much as I can. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. And yeah, uh, a good guy here... Uh, sent me a request to review the uh, Ghostbusters films, the first two films only. I I will get to that because in October, I'm just the last Marvel film I'm reviewing for a while is Blade Trinity because I don't want to review, um, you know, Civil War until it comes out. And there's other Marvel films I haven't seen yet. Like I haven't seen Elektra, which I heard sucked or X-Men First Class or a bunch of others. So, but anyway, it is what it is. I hope we, you guys have a great October Keep watching horror films and eat candy and just, and uh, you know, let your kids dress up, but be careful with the candy, you know, on Halloween because, you know, you can't trust some people. But anyway, see you guys next time.